Hello everyone, I'm Sean. I'm a new staff writer here at Church Mag, and I wanted to do a quick unprogrammed video on IT as a ministry. Uh, I've been working in IT for quite a long time now, and specifically as a uh, systems administrator for the last few years before that, doing a lot of help desk work uh, with both for-profit, non-profit churches, K through 12s, uh, just kind of the full gamut of, of, um, of IT. And what I've found is that it is very easy for us to feel like our service, our skills, our tools and utility, specifically in nonprofit, in church environments, is just a, you know, our, our, our ministry is to the computers, our ministry is to the tablets, it's to the soundboard, uh, it's to the technology. And it's so foreign at times, I know for me it was, uh, so foreign to see it as a ministry tool as a ministry in and of itself. You know, we have a rare opportunity to go and have these one-on-one -on -one moments with individuals, uh, whether it's within the office. Um, in, in my environment, I don't work for a nonprofit anymore, and so it's been um, a very different situation working in a very for-profit, very, uh, very liberal environment and being able to have an opportunity to interact with a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life, a lot of different baggage that we've all carried. And it all comes to a moment where I'm not usually being sent out to a computer because it's working good. I'm being sent out to a computer, I'm working on a switch, I'm working on a server, I'm around other individuals because things aren't working. Um, frustration, stress is always high. Um, sometimes people are able to look past it, but for the majority of it, people are dead in the water, things aren't working the way they're supposed to, and they just want it fixed. And so I have just a few brief moments to be able to, uh, to calm them, to, to, to bring them some peace, to live out Jesus in front of them. And whether that is in a secular environment or a church environment, I have an opportunity to be Christ to them for a few moments. Um, so it's really important for us to understand that that's the case, for us to go into the tickets with that mentality. Because otherwise, the, the, the opposite side of things for me is that I start going into tickets and things as, you know, the sigh of, oh, this is broken, I've got to go fix it. This is, this is not working, I have to go deal with it. I have to go deal with that user again. And that's not okay. What that ends up as is that ends up being the grumpy IT guy that's jaded by life end users. Um, that is not a heart of compassion. That is not a heart that is looking to use the gifts and abilities that we've been given to better those around us, to better develop projects, to uh, provide technical insight for, uh, for mission plans and roadmaps for the future for churches, uh, for, for, for your, your for-profit businesses. Uh, seeing IT as a ministry has been uh, an incredibly useful tool in uh, finding out how to use this, finding out how to use these technical skills to further and develop the body of Christ. Um, sometimes it's just putting on a happy face. You know, I am a, a dad. Uh, we've got a brand new baby, and sleep is a is a high commodity. It's not something that we get often, but it's something that I have to push off to the side as I'm in the office. I have a job to do. Uh, and sometimes it is just putting on that happy face. It's choosing to have a joyful heart going into each ticket. Uh, it's not something I've done very well lately. Um, you know, I've had sit down conversations where I need to be more joyful. I need to have a, uh, uh, I, I need to have more joy as I'm re as I'm dealing with tickets, as I'm working with individuals, and so um, you know this is a video for for all of you who are watching. Uh, it's also a video for me as a reminder that this is something that I have to be very focused on, because otherwise I turn into that grumpy IT guy uh, very quickly and very easily. So um, know that you are a servant. You are in a service role. It is your job to be able to help make things work. And in doing so, you are helping develop the kingdom of God. You are helping to impact and provide resources for so many different aspects of ministry. 
and you have that opportunity in those one-on-one -on -one situations, in teaching situations, uh, in times where maybe you have the opportunity to be able to do some end user training where you can teach users how to more safely surf the internet, how to identify emails that may be malicious, uh, those kind of things that, that really are going to help impact the lives of those that are around you and that are in your circle of influence. So. Just a brief video here, uh, I'll end it there, but I just wanted to connect with you guys, introduce myself and uh, what a lot of my articles are going to be written about. Um, on top of that, I, I'd, I'd just love to hear from you guys. What are some of the difficulties that you guys face when you're trying to keep a joyful heart, a good attitude, uh, and continue to remain positive uh, despite constant adversity in many situations? Um, you know, leave... Uh, Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Um, anything you want to learn about in the future, any of these videos that you'd like to see, you know, I do want to cover more subjects. Um, I've got a few more planned out here that I hope will be brief, maybe a little bit more brief than this. Um, and um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'd love to interact with you guys and uh, look forward to being able to chat with you later. Take care.